Sports Nurse Gwenny. Let's talk about why our patients drop their blood pressure in septic shock. So as we know, sepsis is an inflammatory wildfire where our patients release all of these cytokines and these chemical mediators that affect our inotropy and our heart pumping becomes less effective. As well, those cytokines dissolve something called endothelial cadherins. So as you know, the blood vessels are one cell thick and two things happen. Number one, we lose our vascular tone and our blood vessels go bleh and they kind of open up and our tank gets much larger. The other thing that happens is those single cell wall thick uh, vasculature, they're held together by something called endothelial cadherins. What word do you hear in there? Yeah, adhere. It's like a glue that holds together the edges of those cells that form the vasculature. And so when those cytokines dissolve that glue, we get that increased capillary permeability and our patients start third spacing some of their fluid leaking out the plasma into the third spaces. So when we uh, give pressors, that helps us to shorten up that vasculature and regain that vascular tone and shrink the tank. And also we are able to restore the integrity of those vascular walls and give the patient a fluid bolus to replace those fluids that they leaked with that increasing capillary permeability. Also, I wanted to show you guys how good is my fiddle leaf fig doing? I've had this baby since it was about 18 inches tall.